Hi, this is a video on shared repository. We are going to see how to add items in the shared repository, how to use them, how to edit them, how to check the item usage in the solution and how to update the item instances in the solution. To begin with, we already have a solution created in the Jinja. So double click on the solution. It will take you to automate tab. This is the area where you can see your shared repository. This is shared repository icon. It is a centralized repository within Jinja where you can share the actions, variables, activities and activity groups across all the business flows within the solution. Now let's see how to add an action in the repository. For that, select the desired action. Click on this star plus icon. This will add this action in the Actions tab of the Shared Repository. Similarly, you can add the Activities variables and Activity groups. Now let's see how to use items from the Shared Repository. Select the item and click on this button. It will add the item in the respective areas of the solution. So Actions will get added in Actions variables in variables and so on these items can be used in the same business flow or in another business flow or in the solution now let's see usage of this item in this solution for that click on this button a new window is displayed here details are given like which are the business flows where this item is used the activity names where it is used the usage type where it is an instance or it is an original and its status. Now let's see how to update item in the repository. For that select the desired item, click on this pen icon, make the desired changes and click on save button. Here the confirmatory message is displayed. It is giving detail number of instances in the solution along with yes and no button clicking on yes button will update the repository however the instances in the solution will not be updated now there is another way for updating the items in the shared repository for that select the desired item in the solution click on this pen icon edit window is displayed make the desired changes now this star in orange color indicates that the item is in repository hover your mouse on the star and two more icons are displayed when you click on this icon it asks if you want to override the changes in the repository and if you select yes then the existing item will be saved into pre pre-version folder in the solution folder so when I'll say yes the changes will be updated now the second icon click on this and edit window from the shared repository is displayed you can make changes here as well and click on save button it will give message with the number of places this item is used and when you click on yes button the changes will be updated in repository however the linked instances will not be updated now let's see how to update the item instances in the solution for that select the item in the repository where changes are made click on this icon and it will display the item usage window here you can select the desired instances you want to update. You can also partially update the instances by selecting one of these values. Click on either update all selected or save all updated usages. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.